Maria Ahandawi, a scientist from NYU Abu Dhabi, is going in search of new water sources. Gathering her research tools, she's heading into the desert. She is here to study a plant that thrives in this arid climate. I'm here to study these specific desert plants, or what we call them as halophytes. Maria is set to see how these plants have managed and adapted to survive in one of the world's harshest climates. To the naked eye, they don't look like much, but under a microscope camera, Maria discovered a natural wonder. Entire branches covered in thousands of salt crystals. These salt crystals are very hygroscopic, which means that they like to attract water from the air and at very low humidity and condense that on the surface of the branch. And this is very important for um, the research that is being done in water to combat water scarcity. So the idea is we have this environmental friendly material that is excreted by these plants, these salt crystals that love water, and they can capture water from the air. Maria's findings have just been published in a scientific journal. She has further research to do but is confident that after finding a desert plant that can harness water from the air, it will have positive implications for our water security. Right now, we've discovered this natural system. So this is the thing, how would you put this into practical use? How would you deploy that in the real world? We can easily make them in the lab. We could make small devices using these salts to attract and capture water from the air. If we want to take a look at the bigger picture, if we want to tackle, for example, water crisis, we need a lot of water, right? So what we think is that these salts might play a role in cloud seeding. And the idea in cloud seeding is very simple. They spray them in the air, in the clouds. Those salts will capture some water from the air. The droplets will grow larger in size, and then they will drop to the ground and in the form of rain and precipitation. And what makes these plants so special is that they're capable of attracting and condensing water at low humidity levels. You don't really need a lot of water in the air to condense that. Even if you have very few water droplets in the air, these will be collected by the special salt.